Right, hello people. Um, I'm just going over that statement that Great Yarmouth Insurance people sent me. Um, this is Courtney, my daughter, and she's going to just read the statement because you know my reading and writing's absolute crap, so she's going to read it for me, alright? Hello. Dear Sir, thank you for your recent correspondence. We refer to our previous correspondence and confirm that we have completed our inquir inquiries with the Council. We are informed the council is the owner of your property and is accepted that they are the landlord. The Landlord and Tenancy Act in 1995 section 11 imposes obligations upon the landlords to keep in good repair the structure of the dwelling. For the landlord to be liable for loss and damage attributable to a defect or other concerns it must be shown they were issued with notice and failed to respond the implement repairs or effective the problem yourself Kate, you've been here enough enough times oh, really? right and you know the damage that's in this house yeah. right that's and surely yeah. people must be getting fucked off with me fucking on the phone every five minutes whining and complaining you know what i mean you'd think yeah. if, if someone was constantly on the on your case to do something you'd fucking do something about it wouldn't you but these fuckers don't i think they get a kick out of being moaned at <laughs> yeah they've got all else to do so they don't mind being moaned at And because you're the gable end, you're the one that's going to go. Right. The but, but then, we're the only house, right? Because I've, I've got statements from every single one of these people yeah. along here in council houses, right? All of them stating they've got no mould, they've got no subsidence, they've got nothing, yeah. right? We have it all. Which, at the end of the day, Keith, we both knew, you knew this property was in this state, right? Before we was even given it because the, we've got statements from the people who lived there before and that was the reason why they moved out. Well, I said I, did, I didn't do the survey on these when they, when they well, were all done. Well, somebody did. Somebody's got to be uh, accountable for it, haven't they? Yeah. What other problems you got? You know what problems I've got, Keith. Yeah. You've been here enough time. Yeah, you've been here It's the what, same you, problem you what you've done four reports. years ago. You've lost all the reports. You officially lost all the reports, you said. That's what you said to us last time. Oops, sorry. Last time you was here. Yeah. That you, the, the, what was it? The, oh, just say the reports have been officially lost. That's what you said to me last time you was here. So have they done the same officially re lost reports are the same now? Have they done that upstairs? Nothing. No, nothing. It's it's still, done. everything's exactly the same as it was four years ago. Because I put jobs out for the things to be repaired, kitchen doors to be repaired and replaced. Under the terms of tenancy agreement, you are obliged to notify the council of any issues with the property so that they respond accordingly. Well, there's the old Keith. What you see two and a half years ago when you was last here, the hole was still there. Has the leaking pipe in the loft been done? No. The leaking pipe in the loft been done? No. No, that's not been done either. The council have checked their records and no complaints were received about the flooding to the property. Upstairs, isn't there problem? The same problems, problems Kate. The same we have problems. a for it, Yeah. Uh, front door. Totally shut. Every time it rains, it pisses in. It's rotten. Your bloke, your bloke said that the front door's rotten. It's unsafe. If you walk up to my front door, give it a whack like that, you get in my house. <coughs> But this is all damage you knew has been here for the last four years, Kate. You've, you've done enough surveys here yourself. You've been here enough times. I've, I've got it written down. You've been here four times. Yep. <laughs> that number 30 is still leaking. Is it? Yeah, yeah. We've, 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 What's that, a roof? It's just a, uh, uh, one of the ones we've... De no, it's not a roof. Well, as I say, ours has been leaking for four years, Keith, I tell you. Pours through our house when it rains. <laughs> Leave it with me. Yeah. Furthermore, no complaints were received, which would have put the council on notice of a potential problem about the growth of mould. Do you ever wash because there's a job to wash these walls off? Yeah, but it's a, it's a, you've been told not yeah. to wash them. It, it's, well, no, no, it's no, no, wash our, them our, because our, it's our department's told to wash it off. Our department, <laughs> our contractors. Stop that! Stop that! Don't. Well, our contractors that we use, we're told to wash it off. Yeah, but it, if, if they've done that. 
right? If they had come here and washed it, right, they're putting my children's lives at risk by washing it because you are disturbing. That needs a specialist company to come in here, completely strip it, completely strip it, all the plaster, everything, right, all the ceiling needs to be stripped away. Same with every single bedroom, right, it's the same problem in every single bedroom. Black mould, it is very dangerous. So you're writing nothing down that's not, not been done before. Well, no, I mean, well, it's just like you was round here, you was round here with that woman, um, Ruth, Ruth, yeah. we, we've, we've repaired our relationship now, me and Ruth, right? But you was round here that time you was, I was on the phone and I was doing my bollocks over the phone because you were sitting there saying, oh, we just washed the walls. Well, we've been told by the environmental health and everyone else that's been round, you cannot touch it. That's why we, we've never decorated, because we're told, do not touch. It is dangerous. Do not touch it. Do not disturb it. It is dangerous. That will give you. My children have got asthma because of it. So we should be living in here. We shouldn't even fear. You, you should have moved us out a long time ago when you found out about all this crap. Well, it's not my court move out, unfortunately. Well, obviously, there's people that not doing their job properly, Keith. Yeah, well, so it's not my court move you out. I can't move you out. No, I, I don't expect you to, mate. But I expect the right departments to be informed and yeah. instead of it being lied about. And this is what it is. This house has been lied about left, right and centre. Like In this case, we are not persuaded it was possible for the council to either foresee or prevent the damage to your personal property. And you know yourself. Oh, yeah. When you come here, right, when you first come round here, your words to us was, where's all your carpet and that gone? You said it's because good. you know, you knew it was all carpet, but we've lost everything and we've never ever got a penny back for it. We've lost thousands so through this house. So However, we do not accept that any damage sustained can be attributed to negligence. Right, so you see that the last bit there that they say that they can't see our great Yarmouth Council were negligent. Well, negligent. They never come and repaired what they supposed to repair, right? They knew that we were being flooded. They knew about the mould. They knew about it for years, right? But they never ever come round. All they used to do is send their housing officer round, right? Or a state officer or a manager or whatever she was to come and hassle us and constantly put, like, put the missus under pressure and all that, not to say anything, not to do anything. They did that, and funny enough, this lady's now left the council. Convenient, right? They've, uh, they knew, as I said, they knew all about the mould, they knew all about they, what we was losing, right? But they've done nothing about it, absolutely nothing. So to turn around and say they weren't negligent in any way is unbelievable, right? As you see from the videos, we had Keith on there, right? Who's the, he's a, he was a housing inspector who turned up on this particular day because I was screaming and hollering and I was going mad down the phone. So they sent someone round, right? Well, they sent him round, who had been round loads and loads and loads of times before, right? And uh, it, you see on the videos there, right? Everything I was saying to him, right? He was agreeing with, yeah, that, that's what happened, yeah, yeah. You know, now if I, if I accused you of something, right, and you know damn well that you never said it or you never done it, you'd go, go mad, wouldn't you? You'd say, no way did I say that. But when I said to him about what he had said to us the previous visit, about everything being destroyed, all the paperwork, all the complaints, everything to do with that house had been officially destroyed, all right, what did he say? Yeah, that's exactly what he said to us. So that's exactly what happened. And then you've got the, the insurance people saying, well, there's no reports. Of course there's no reports, because they got rid of them. They destroyed them. You know what I mean? So what do, what do I do now? You know what I mean? This is unbelievable. I just, I just don't know what to do next, to be honest with you. Well, I'm going to stick this video up, right? Let you people have a look, see what you think, all right? And you tell me who was negligent, me or them.